Look in my window, Peyton Swashbucklers. I'm be Peyton to window this time for Lippin's Party Supply, their 2018 Summer Splash, featuring a pirate, a parrot, and a mermaid. Come join me now. Arr! Hello, my wonderful friends. I'm here at the Lippman Company again, and I'm going to do a tropical theme, or kind of a beach party theme, pineapples and inflatables, stuff like that, in one section. And then I'm doing a mermaid again. <laughs> it's my third mermaid I've done in about a month. So I'm doing a mermaid and a sort of a pirate uh, character, and I'm just going to paint arg on the windows above. So. That's what's happening today on this beautiful late spring summery day. Actually, by the time this uh, video gets edited and up, it'll be summer. First or first week of summer. All right, let's get started. Okay, I got all the lettering on top done. It's the part I don't really get into. It's just lettering and I got to climb up and down and stuff. But it took uh, about two and a half hours, maybe three. But I've got ARG. The birthdays was up there before. Beach party and then tropical. And then around the other side, I have beach party too again. I love working big. <laughs> I didn't uh, pre-draw this guy or anything or sketch it out. I just kind of went for it. And uh, of course, it's kind of a caricature of me. It's got the hook nose and stuff. But uh, yeah, it's nice working large. It's a lot easier. Sometimes people come up there like, how can you work so big? How can you get that scale? But you know, it's like whatever you do, you're good at. When I was younger, I was an illustrator and I was really good at working small, but I'm not so good at working small anymore, working with like pens and stuff. I mean, actually, I did a lot of stuff for uh, uh, in September or October for, um, um, God, I can't remember the name of it. Oktoberfest? <laughs> That's weird, I'm drawing a blank. I'm getting old. <laughs> I keep thinking Dravember, but October, what did they call that? October, Drawtober? I can't remember. <laughs> That's so weird, I'm drawing a blank. Anyway, if anybody knows what that is, the October thing that Jake, Jake Parker started, let me know. <laughs> Crazy. Anyway, this is pretty quick. I've got this sped up just a little bit. It's probably sped up, gosh, I don't know, maybe a fifth faster. Not very much, but uh, he's coming along good. I got kind of wonky teeth and everything. <laughs> he's the main feature, so that's why I did him first. Okay, I got all the white lady in on this uh, pirate scene. It's gonna say ARG, and then the parrot's gonna be saying, party like a pirate. And then I got the pirate head, and then this big box here, I'm gonna put in deco. And then I uh, channeled Elizabeth Montgomery from Bewitched for the mermaid. All right. Okay, time to do the second coat of white.
while, but, but yeah. I always recognize you when I do. Well, I'm still painting windows, just not as many as I used to. Yeah. Yeah, I'm kind of, I don't hustle as much. <laughs> yeah. Just try to do the fun ones. Here's another little tip. Uh, what you can do is you can take the color that you're working with. In this case, I got a violet color or purple. And then you just add black to it. So I get this really, really dark kind of uh, grayish purple color. And you can use this instead of outlining with black. And uh, it just kind of, it looks really cool. It's not as stark as the black, but it gives it a kind of a different flavor than outlining with black. So you don't always have to outline with the black. And I'm not using a foam brush because I want to get all this little detail. But you can see it's, it's a little bit different. That's how a lot of the Disney animation was done, like Sleeping Beauty and the earlier films. They would outline with the color, a darker version of the color of the main thing. But if this guy had like, say, pink eyes they would dark they would outline them in a coral color a little bit darker pink but in this case the guy the whole guy is, is purple even so I'm gonna with the small brush you can get these you know the thick and thin that give it flavor Okay, I got the second coat of white and I laid a little bit of water in.
Okay, I got all the colors laid out. And I just have to do the black now. Let's take a look at this. Okay, I'm all done here at the Littman Company and uh, got their beach party and their pirate theme, tropical theme, and uh, I'm just going to pack up and head out. I think I'm going to get some still shots of this too for Instagram. Thanks for hanging out with me and I'll see you next time. Bye.